Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Taking a step away from the normal dominoes, and I decided to create a koi pond. So if you'd like to see how I created this beautiful yet simple koi pond, please stay tuned. And also, if you do enjoy it, please leave a like. All right, so I, I got these molds um, from off of Amazon. I will leave the link in the description. But what I decided to do, I have my color schemes already picked out of what I wanted the fish to look like. Um, but what I wanted to do was test it out and see what it would look like if I paint it inside of the mold and then pour the epoxy in. And then uh, the other two I did, I painted after the uh, epoxy was poured and it was demolded. And I do like the way it looked uh, when I painted it before I poured the epoxy and painting onto the mold, it looks a lot better and a lot cleaner. So if I ever do it again, I will be doing it this way. So that orange and that yellow were the two I decided to, I'm sorry, not the orange and the yellow, the white and the yellow, I decided to paint afterwards, but uh, you'll be able to see what it looks like after I demold it. And here I'm just creating my barrier um, so that my rocks would stay in place. Uh, this is just some uh, couple long strips of paper I cut up and then uh, covered it in packing tape so that the epoxy wouldn't stick to it and then just uh, hot glued it down to create my barrier that uh, is kind of like just a, a temporary wall so that the rocks would stay in place. And I got these rocks from Michael's craft store. I think it was a $4.99 for this um, container of River Rocks. And I also and I also bought this tree from Michaels as well. Um, I was trying to find like a Japanese style cherry blossom tree but I couldn't find any this sand that I have I got that all from Dollar Tree I should have poured the sand in first uh, under the to get under the beneath the rocks but I didn't so I just had to pour it in and then uh, shake it down uh, hit tap the side so it'll fall down into the into the container This crushed glass I also got from Dollar Tree, or Dollar Twenty Five Tree now, but I got that from the Dollar Tree um, as a makeshift gravel on the bottom of the the pond. In this container I, that you see, I got that from 
um, Target for six bucks. Now these lily pads I got off of Amazon, I will leave the link again in the description, but they came in, they were so big, I didn't realize they were as big as they were, so I had to cut them down. Um, I still didn't really cut them down to the proper size, so I ended up resizing them later on. Um, they'll be a lot smaller once you see them go into the actual epoxy, but the those roses right there I got from Dollar Tree in the floral department. And I'm just creating a lily pad um, with the flower on top. Nothing to it. Just letting my imagination go and doing it how I want. It's nothing. It doesn't have to be specific. It's just what you want to do. These are some mugs or some uh, wine glasses that I got from the Dollar Tree plastic. I uh, saw that they were detachable and I thought this it would make a good fountain. So I just bought those. And then I'll super glue them together once I get them painted in a nice uh, couple of coats of gray. And then I'll super glue them all together. And it's about an hour later, I uh, wanted to get the um, fountain in. So I went ahead and made up another batch of epoxy. And then I'll s go ahead and slide that um, fountain into place. Then pour some epoxy over top of it to create the illusion of water. This, I'm just using the leftover epoxy I have to create a puddle. Um, this is just over some plastic wrap. I'll let this sit for about an hour or two. It'll still be tacky, but once I do, I'm gonna rip it apart and create the water coming out of the water fountain. So it's about three hours later, pouring out, pulling out this paper. Um, make sure I didn't let the epoxy set all the way so that um, I could get that paper out and then also that um, epoxy will be self level and it'll level itself out so. that gap there I'll have to it'll end up getting filled up with more epoxy later and now what I'm doing here um, I didn't want all of my koi fish to be going in the same direction um, so I decided to pull this one out and it's about from the time I poured it it's about maybe five hours later where it's hard enough to pull the mold but soft enough to still bend 
So uh, I just decided to tape it down, movement, stick it in the direction that I wanted it to be flowing so that once it did completely harden, it'll be in that position instead of them all going with their tails bent. I wanted one to look a little different. And this is the water um, that I'm gonna be putting onto the water fountain. Oh, it's still tacky, it's very tacky, so I can bend it and mold it and roll it into the um, shape that I want it to be in, which is uh, kind of like a candy cane. And I'm just testing it here to make sure I have it long enough, whereas it will go from that uh, spout all the way and flow like a, into an arch and then flow down into the water. Now I just wanna make sure you do this when it's still tacky enough. So here's the good part. Uh, these turned out beautiful. I love, love, love the way it looks when you paint inside of the mold. It still looked okay uh, after I painted it on top of the um, fish, but I'll definitely, next time, if I ever do it again, I will paint the mold first. And here you just wanna have fun. Use your imagination, let it flow. With these fish you don't want to overdo it but you don't you just want to go ahead and whatever color scheme I don't think it, it, it might be a certain way koi fish are meant to look but I just let my imagination take me I just let my imagination go All right, and this right here, that little ball right there is just some more of that um, plastic wrap with epoxy on it, I just balled it up. This was just to create the illusion of uh, the water splashing into the water. Use some UV resin to glue the um, waterfall down <clears throat> and did it in the three spots, the, the water splash, the water coming out of the spout, and then the, so that it'll stay still I just glued it onto the side of the fountain and I did four parts of that and then here is a, just a little bit of a waterfall like it's just flowing off of the side of the fountain and now it's time to place the the koi fish um, I think I changed my mind about three or four different times or the placement of the fish, but um, just want to make sure you get them in, change them and finalize it before that um, epoxy starts to sit because once you do it, it's done. So, and then also the epoxy is filling in that gap where I pulled off that, uh, that, that wall of paper. So yeah, I think I changed my mind a couple of times before I settled on a final position. And that yellow fish, once I that curve, that bend came out and it's, it stayed real good. 
So it's a couple more pours of epoxy. I think I use maybe 64 ounces total. And then I added some more um, rocks all around the edge just to create an even bigger, a taller wall so that it didn't overflow and it just didn't seem, it wanted to make sure that it seemed like uh, a wall of rocks was containing the pond. So added some more rocks around the edge to build it up a little more. And then I make sure to pour some of the epoxy over top of the rocks to act as a glue. And then while that's curing, I am going to create, cut up some of uh, the leaves off of that set of flowers from Dollar Tree. Create a little couple of extra little, small little lily pads to go um, with the larger lily pads. And here you can see I had to decrease the size of the lily pad because it just didn't, I know a lot of this doesn't seem to scale. I wasn't really worried about making it seem realistic, realistic. Um, because I was just having fun with it. This isn't for sale or anything. This is just something I was doing for fun. So, but I did make those lily pads a little bit smaller. This is it. Uh, so I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, it was me learning all as I go, just using my imagination. And I enjoyed this tremendously. So if you also enjoyed this video and enjoyed and maybe learned a little something or just got an inspiration to do this yourself, please leave a like and maybe even a comment. This might be my last creation or video that I do. All of this editing and stuff is a lot to do, but this I just wanted to share this last little project with you all, and I hope you enjoyed it, and again, thank you for watching.